He's taking on the big shots and working hard to get you answers. Eight on your side, Steve Andrews investigates. Protecting paramedics in the field at shooting scenes. Hillsborough County won't spring for bulletproof vests. Clearwater won't leave the station without them. Paramedics in Hillsborough are willing to put their lives on the line for us, but they would like a little protection. Like a bulletproof vest, for example. According to a county plan that Eight on Your Side told you about last night, Fire Rescue is proposing to send paramedics into active shooter situations without any ballistic protection. Senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews found other departments wouldn't think of doing something like that. Yeah, and one of them right here in Hillsborough County, Temple Terrace, announcing today following our reports, hey, we've got ballistic protection for our fire crews, but Hillsborough still pinching pennies. Anytime any Clearwater Fire Rescue Unit rolls on a call, it's equipped with bulletproof vests and helmets. We run all sorts of calls as paramedics. Um, assault, shooting, stabbing. So this is just another level of protection we could give to our personnel. If an engine has four seats, there are four ballistic helmets and vests. And that's a potential dangerous situation. According to Clearwater Fire Rescue Assistant Chief Alex Monte, the county provided ballistic protection for every unit and ambulance back in 2016. Wearing this protective equipment is standard operating procedure, especially on shooting calls. Anytime we get dispatched a specific type of call, they are to don these vests prior to leaving the station. Is ambulatory. If you want, we can get them moving. In Hillsboro, the Sheriff's Office and Fire Rescue are training together to prepare for active shooter incidents. According to Colonel Ciro Dominguez, deputies will seek out and contain the shooter. Others escort fire medics in to treat the wounded. Our job is to deal with the threat, and their job is to rescue the injured. Eight on your side obtained fire rescue training documents that state fire rescue personnel will not have ballistic protection. Any good department's going to protect their people. Travis Horn, a spokesperson for the Firefighters Union, contends sending fire medics in without ballistic protection is evidence that Hillsboro Chief Dennis Jones and County Administrator Mike Merrill are more committed to trimming the budget than keeping personnel safe. I'd tell them, don't ask the firefighters to do something you're not willing to do yourself. Would you allow your guys into a warm zone without protection? Absolutely not. Why? Um, it's just not safe. And we want to make sure our personnel are protected at all times. Now, according to Chief Monty, every fire rescue department in Pinellas is equipped with ballistic protection for its crews, as well as Pasco County and Temple Terrace. Now, you know, it's not cheap to equip an entire department with vests and helmets. Clearwater said there's about 1100 bucks a piece, but as one firefighter asked me, how much does a funeral cost? Right. Yeah. Good point. It's troubling when you see that. So yeah. the question remains, though, why isn't Hillsborough doing a better job of providing uh, this protection for their fire medics. Well, a fire uh, rescue spokesman told me this is the sheriff's plan, one that quickly contains a shooter and rapidly renders aid to those most severely wounded. Now, Colonel Dominguez was emphatic that the decision about vests rests with fire rescue. Now, you know, no one is against the plan. I mean, I, I think we all want to render aid to people as quickly sure. as possible who've been injured, but fire medics point out, you know, deputies are wearing vests when they go in. Why shouldn't they? Right. All right. And Thanks. if you have a problem that you would like Steve to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline at 1-800-338-0808.